Our top story tonight, one local airport is giving a popular car sharing service the boot. Greenville Spartanburg International Airport says Uber drivers could be penalized for doing business on their own property. News 13's Darren Patello spoke with airport officials and has this report. I mean, like, I, it's good for, like, people in, like, college and stuff if they need, like, a safe ride. So. Friends of Furman freshman Harper Caswell use Uber all the time. It's simple. They use the Uber app to drop a pin on their location, and a private driver vetted by the company comes and picks them up. Now it's no longer an option for getting to Greenville Spartanburg International Airport. Until uh, their legal status is determined by the state of South Carolina, they're not going to be allowed to knowingly operate here at the airport. If they do, Uber drivers could be paying up to $200 per violation. In some cases, Uber says they'll foot the bill. And so far, no Uber drivers have been given any tickets here at GSP, but the state's Office of Regulatory Staff tells News 13 four drivers have been given warnings at Columbia Metropolitan Airport since the ride-sharing service came to South Carolina last July. Uber is legal within four Palmetto State cities, including Greenville. Outside of city limits, where GSP is located, Uber remains illegal. Its illegality will be the topic of conversation at a hearing with the Public Service Commission later this month, where Caswell says the state should give Uber the green light. All my friends have had really good experiences and haven't had any like really like gross, sketchy people drive them anywhere. So, I mean, I think it's safe. And that was Darren Patillo reporting. Now, in a statement to News 13, an Uber spokesperson says, we welcome the opportunity to work with airport officials on a permitting process that makes sense for ride sharing, a fundamentally different business model from taxi.